Hi. You should know that when you see uh, an expression like that, what it means is root 49. And because 49 is 7 times 7, root 49 is simply 7. Uh, 49 is 7 squared. 7 is 49 square rooted. That's stuff you should know. Root 144 for the same reason. Uh, well, 144 is 12 squared, so the square root of 144 is 12. Other things which have got root signs might be other types of root, like this is the cube root of 8, and because 8 is 2 cubed, 3 2's multiplied together, we would call that the cube root of 8, and its value is 2. The fifth root of 32, well, 32 is 2 to the power of 5, so the fifth root of 32 is also 2. Now, um, in general, if you have a number which is a squared and you take its square root, you just get to the number a. Or if you've got a cubed uh, and you take its cube root, then the number is also a. However, what happens if you come to a number like 2 and try and take its square root? Well, if you use a calculator, you'll see that the first nine decimal places look like that. But in fact, this is an infinite string of decimal places. It goes on forever, and it doesn't repeat itself. It's not a recurring decimal. It's just an endless string of decimal points. So whenever you write it as a decimal, somewhere you've got to round it. Root 2 is the exact value of the square root of 2. But that's rounded. Now you might round it to 1.4 or 1.41, that's fine, but it's not the exact value. The exact value is best described as root 2. Same with root 17. The, only, the best way to describe that is root 17, because if you write it down as a decimal, you have to round it somewhat. Same if you add or subtract numbers from it. Root 7 minus 4 is also best left like that. Root 8 minus root 2. Same thing. That's best as left as 1 plus root 3. The cube root of 13. Leave it alone. That's the, ease, that's the exact and easiest way to write down the value of that number. The fourth root of 11. Same thing. The square root of AB square root of 3a minus 2b, that, well, those algebraic expressions, and you haven't really got much choice about how you write those. The square root sign is easily the best way of doing it. Now, all these expressions are called thirds, and thirds are just expressions which have got root signs. Most of the ones you'll meet have got the square root sign with no number outside, but sometimes you'll meet the cube root sign or other values, the fourth root sign, like this one. They're all called thirds. And in later videos, we're going to be looking at how we can manipulate thirds and what the rules for handling thirds are.